When I was a kid, I got in trouble for stealing a penny sweet from a garage, and my mother made me go back into the garage and give it back. And it was a very, 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 very strong lesson in morals. Hi, I'm Taryn Edgerton, and this is Finish This Sentence with The Hollywood Reporter. First time I listened to Elton John, I would have been five, maybe six, and my mother bought me a VHS copy of The Lion King, and it was the circle of life. And probably the introduction song as well, but the circle of life, yeah. I remember when he had a Greatest Hits album come out when I was 12, and my stepfather and I used to skip to, I guess that's why they call it the blues, and sing it together in the car. My hero, I'm really sorry, Elton, is David Bowie. Uh, he has been since I was a young boy. I've always felt a very strong connection to him and his music. And no one's made a David Bowie movie? No, there is one in the works, though. I think I'm a little thick set for David Bowie, but oh well. Someone else will do it better. The most challenging song to perform in Rocket Man. Uh, they're challenging for different reasons, but I think I, the, the most acute pressure I felt was your song because, you know, it's one of the greatest songs ever written, one of the most popular songs ever written. And it's also one I did live on set. There's a handful I did live on set, and I insisted on it, but I think it works for the film. Uh, my favorite Elton John song to perform is your song or maybe Benny and the Jets. Very different but one thing that I've learned through the film is to kind of access a slightly rockier part of my voice which I haven't really used before so I would say Benny and the Jets because it makes me feel like a glam rock superstar. My gift is my song and this one is for if I think about this film and who I feel like I've made it for there's two groups of people should we say my gift is my song, and this one is for Elton and Bernie, but also the people I'm most excited about seeing this film are my mum and my, my family, because I've pulled my heart into it, so I, I'm very excited for them to see it, and I think they're going to be proud. Don't go breaking my troubadour sign that I have taken from the film, because it was broken once in transit to my apartment, where it now sits on the kitchen, and it took months, and it's quite expensive to get mended. So, don't go breaking my knee on the side. So, check this out, right? The wardrobe piece I wish I'd stolen from the set of Rocket Man. And I would have stolen it, but my mum taught me that very special lesson with the penny sweets. But the, I've been campaigning for the denim jacket I wear in Tiny Dancer because it's just fabulous and it's got all of these kind of like patchwork motifs on it. And I got an email from the designer last night and he says I can have it on the 7th of June. My go-to dance move is, weirdly when I was just doing the shoot, I was sort of dancing and miming, playing the piano a little bit. But what I was thinking of was Pulp Fiction and John Travolta and Uma Thurman. And I think I probably do do that one quite a lot. Yeah. It's probably a little bit like that, isn't it? Can't believe I did that. Tough. My favourite film of all time is, I'm going to say Shaun of the Dead because it's one that I've watched endlessly and it's one that I watched for the first time when I was kind of 13, 14. Big part of my growing up, watching it with my friends. So it's probably one of the first films where I was very aware of how did they do that, how was that made, the logistics, the planning that went into it. And I find it hilarious and moving. And I do love zombies as well. It's a guilty pleasure of mine, I love zombie films. The next change to plan should be played by Richard Madden. But would you be interested? I think any person who was asked to play James Bond would have to stop and think about it. But I think I can think of people who would do it better. I also have a spy franchise. I don't know if anyone needs two spy franchises. But of course, if I was asked, I'd stop and think about it. But I do think it should be Richard Madden. He's perfect. Right now, Eggsy is probably saving the world and probably making a few mistakes on the way. Or either that or supping a martini with Harry Hart somewhere, I don't know. That's what those guys do, isn't it? <laughs> My first Cannes Film Festival will be 2019, when I'm there with my movie Rocketman. Are there any surprises up my sleeve at Cannes? I will say that there, yes, there is. I do have a surprise up my sleeve for Cannes. I can't, I'm not absolutely forbidden to say anymore, but yes, we do have a surprise.